Hospital. There was confusion at the VVIP bus terminal at the Kwame Nkrumah Interchange Wednesday morning when the air rapid response units clashed with operators of the bus terminal over the piece of land where the terminal is located. Operators allege that the assembly member for the Kokomimli electoral area, Moses Abo, is trying to take undue advantage of the change in government to lease portions of the land to party faithful. Speaking to Joy News, the regional manager of the terminal, Ni Yemo, says they will vehemently resist every attempt by the assembly member to forcefully confiscate their land. You go Ghana, it's been going to China. You know they are Chinese people. They are your friends. Ghana goes there to take money every day. You know it. What are you talking about? That's your love. You know, you know what you're talking about. Don't be doing those politics. Don't be doing those very effective politics. Don't be coming doing those petty politics. This morning we are just, you know, going about, just about going our normal, doing our normal business. And we were this, this gentleman came in a non-identified attack, claiming they are from AMA. And they've been instructed, or they are led. They were led by the honourable assembly member here, called Moses Abo, that uh, they are, they want to put some containers, or they want to erect some containers here on our station and on the premises that we have duly acquired. And we we found it very, you know, irritating. And we had to also mash up or call all our drivers to resist that uh, the erection of those containers because it's not right. Um, this issue has been persisting here, or it's been constant from, I think, when we started operations here. We were How long have you been here? Barely, let's say, barely close to 10 years and over. And we have documents or legal documents that, you know, gives us the right to be here for some number of years, which will disclose to you later. This issue has been persisting. This, uh, this honorable member called Moses has been terrorizing or like harassing and interrupting people's businesses. Because if you can see, if you can see the, if you can humbly turn, so we see the new container that is being erected there. It's collected money from which the people have allegedly said. It will never happen. Because today you have the power, you will not, you will not have the power again. Go around. See for yourself. See the number of containers. Where places where they're supposed to, they're supposed not to put containers. They put containers all around. This man, this you, 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 you believe AMA is encroaching your property? Yes. That is it. Thank you very much. And I have a. One of the traders whose container was forcefully moved by some members of the AMA Rapid Response Unit lament to join news. Uh, so, you give us your name. Meanwhile, the head of the AMA Rapid Response Unit has defended the Assembly's move. In an interview with Joy News, the Assembly member for the Kokumlemle electoral area, who doubles as the head of the Rapid Response Unit, said the move is to create a conducive environment for traders who do business on the pavement. Nobody is encroaching on the VVIP, as you said, as land. Uh, the VVIP man was there for tempera, and uh, it was within previous government. And we all know the traders were there when the previous government took over. Now they are trying to inject them from the land. But under my leadership, I'll make sure I protect the interests of the people because Ghanaians first we will not allow that a foreigner will come and take our property while our people are suffering. But if the foreigner, like you mentioned, has duly acquired this land, why why would you want to forcefully get them off to allow Ghanaians to work on? Well, I'm not getting them off, and then they are a portion that... That's the allegation that the operators of the VVIP terminal are making? That is what they will say, because I'm fighting for my people, the Ghanaians, as I said, because I'm born and bred in this country and I'm a Ghanaian. And then I know the history of that era. I am an assemblyman for two terms in that electoral era. And today I become the head of the AMA rapid response. I have to fight for my people, my people first. Are you suggesting that you wouldn't respect the agreements they entered into with the previous government? It wasn't good agreement. You can go and check the documents. 
okay and it wasn't good agreement and i'm working on it i keep to be i i try to what, be what makes it a bad agreement well when the time reach you see your influence to disadvantage the investor i've invested in that piece of land and now you are telling me that i should give portion of that to the Ghanaian because they are Ghanaians and i'm a foreigner i am not saying it's not fair i am not saying you should give a portion that portion doesn't belong to him it's a government land and i will not allow myself to be to give that land to a foreigner again what i will do is that to make sure Ghanaians rather benefit from it operators of the terminal however say they will in the coming days make public documents supporting ownership of the land in question Latif Idris, with that report, they have been joined in the studio by one of the general managers of the VVIP, Ni Yemo Odre. Ni, thank you and, uh, for your time here on the show. Now, in that report, my colleague speaks about you showing document uh, to prove that you've actually secured that land space and that it is yours. Is this the document? Yes. Okay, yes, if you can hold it up to the camera for me. Uh, okay. So that yes, you just this, hold it like that, and then we could we could have a look at it. Um, then you can tell us a bit about the, the he was speaking about in that interview with the AMA. The AMA speaks about the kind of agreement that you entered into with the previous government. Is that correct? Yes. What was the nature of the agreement? Tell us about it. Um, thank you very much for putting me on, on on set or on the show this afternoon. If you can, if you listen to what uh, my colleague the Moses Honorable Moses Abo said, he said it was an agreement that was entered by the previous government. Right. You and I know that government really doesn't, doesn't like physically do agreements. It's the institutions. AMA, we had um, a memorandum of understanding that spells as a lease agreement between us, the Royal VVIP, and um, AMA. And the AMA. And, yes. the, and in this case, AMA is government. Yes. Okay. And Urban Road. Okay. If I could, if I could just have a look at this yes. uh, document. So I'm going to try and read to you a bit of this document and the, what uh, it I, says. I, I, let me finish, my okay. dear. Okay. That, that document you have there is where, uh, a document from Lands Commission. Okay. But the actual memorandum of understanding, mm -hmm. because of the issues and the scaffolds right. and the money, I couldn't bring it. But it also, this document also paraphrases the memorial the details okay the so this is a document from the lands commission yes which proves that the land belongs to you yes, or has been given to you given. so you can okay so it says with reference to your application dated the 28th of november 2016 for a license on the above mentioned site and uh okay I'll, you know the site already we wish to inform you that the greater accra regional lands commission at 845th regular meeting held on the 30th December 2016, approved your request. The plot covers an area of 1.11 acres and shown edged pink on the attached site plan. In considering the application, the Commission noted the Memorandum of Understanding MOU dated the 1st of November 2012, executed between the AMA and the company. The proposed terms are as follows, and it goes down in a list. It says you will be required to license for a maximum term of five years from 1st December 2016. Okay, so let me let me just end it here at the first December twenty sixteen, and your your rent allowance here is four thousand four hundred and forty cities yes. per annum. annum yes. Okay, so this is from the Lands Commission, yes. and this is the document that we we showed you uh, about well trying to prove that they actually have documentation uh, from the AMA or actually from this is from the, the lands commission yes. but that it but then it encompasses the agreement that they've had with the AMA etc okay if you have this document why is it that they, w what is the argument with which they're trying to evict you the 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 point is that it's not that they are trying to evict uh, evict or like encroach or suck us they are claiming that the portions of the land that we have, um, which we have, we, we have duly acquired, mm. belongs to the, we still AMA. belongs, yes, belongs to the Yes, AMA. but you acquired it for a period of time. So then yes. it means that it is not for you eternally. Yes. That at some point you're going to have to give it, hand it back. But for this period or for the time, this time that you, you, mm -hmm. you just read to your people. Yes, 2016. We are still, yes, we are still those that, Yes. So we're looking at 2021. Yes. Okay. My dear. So this uh, this is what we have to mm. prove ownership for this temporary or this 
leased this amount of right. or year, number of right. years that we have leased right. it. The issue there is that most of the AMA authorities or most of the people there, they come and bring people or come to erect those small, small containers there and take money from the people. Because we, this morning, confronted Moses or we, we approached him mm -hmm. that this is what is going on. But he should speak to it or he should talk to his people. But he said he hasn't sent anybody. Okay, so, so he should talk to his people. So now you're making an allegation yes. that the AMA there are erecting or allowing people to put up containers there Absolutely. and taking money, extort yes. extorting money yes. from them. Because I don't think they what would do... What evidence do you have to prove what you're the saying? Evidence is that, uh, the evidence we have as I speak with you are the people there. We know Joe FM, you know, we know your investigative powers. You, we know you can go on the ground behind us and do your own investigations. Some of the monies that they take is uh, as high as 17,000 Ghana cities. And if you go there, you can, we have the evidence and we have the people that are ready to speak to it, people that are ready to, I don't know, but they, they, they don't, I'm, I'm not sure they've given anybody any receipt or any other thing that will prove, but we have the people that So then it's going to, to be it. their word against the AMA's words. If the AMA say that we have not taken any money from them, that's what is going how to... Do you, how do you end, operate end a business end. venture on a land that belongs to AMA, that the assembly member or those AMA authorities there, those in charge, those that have been mandated mm. to take control of a circle, I'll, will allow you to operate there without oh. taking any money. Any money. We, we understand from the conversation that the AMA representative had with my colleague that you entered into what he's calling a bad agreement with the previous administration. I don't Why know do you think what, he says so? I don't know what his understanding of bad agreement or agreement is. This is a land commission uh, uh, document that authenticates okay. the MOU that we had with. AMA and urban roads, which we have given you furnished away copies for you. Can you can also do your background checks and, and see if that okay. is actually a bad idea. So you stand by allegation that some people, uh, the AMA, want to move you from there because they think that they, because they're trying to put up their own um, uh, structures there and taking money from the people who's yes. who, who, yes. who, for because whom the structure belongs. Or now, if, if, if you can see the, the, the portion, the, the size of the land is about. 1.1 yeah, 1 1 1 acres. acres and on both ends the left left wing and the right wing okay on um, barely half or half of half of the, the, the land AMA, has been taken the AMA looks like they are set they are ready to engage you and to make sure that they do whatever they want to do what's your your, your next line of action they, they are not because my dear if in the morning we showed we showed you pictures or this is a structural plan that we've done we have tried to talk to them, even as high as going to the top to speak with them, so we could partner with gov government to develop this place. Look at, if you can show on the screen, and for, the, for all, everyone to see, the way they've structured or the way they've planned those things there. Look at the way they've, they, they, they've erected those stores or those kiosks and those containers. Is it is in a disorderly manner. We have engaged or we have tried on countless occasions to have a proper partnership or maybe a joint venture with the government so we can plan this thing or do it a proper station or a properly. proper bus okay. terminal. And okay. I know our people know it. As it stands now, I'm not sure that government has money to come and spend there. So you have money here, we just spend it there? We are into that business and we can spearhead okay. it. We know what it takes to do mm. to run a station. So back to my question about the fact that the AMA doesn't seem to be ready to allow you to do what you say you want to do. Are, what is are. going to be your next line of action? What are you going to do our, now? Our next line of action is that we'll resist them. And you and I know what happens if judgment, death, and all those things comes up. Because this is what we have. Whoever, it doesn't matter, irrespective of whoever was in power or whoever was in charge or whoever was you know, give, give us this document that we have here that's coming from a government or uh, a government agency and it's authentic. We know that uh, what we have here. Mm. And what so we what are you done. going to do? We will take legal action and we'll take legal steps and we'll advise ourselves. And I'm, I'm sure you know what, 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 what will come up if we, we take, okay. you know, legal steps that okay. government should, they should give us, you know, it, it will be a problem or issue of judgment. Mm. There, and have you we will not relent at all. Have you engaged with the AMA, uh, the, the AMA boss, over this matter today? I can't speak uh, on authority, but my boss, who is Robert, the, my boss is one of the bosses who is Robert. He has told me 
that he has had some several discussions with him, but it seems like you know the normal bureaucracy let's go through this let's do this let's do that and okay he's not so there's been some kind of engagement after yes. what happened this morning yes so it appears that the problem is being solved um sort of okay. but we'll still we'll still not take chances because okay we will really we will really we have really prepared ourselves on the ground because okay it's becoming one too many right so it looks like a legal battle is imminent there involving let's say the bvip and uh, the Accra Metropolitan uh, Assembly. Well, well, we'll say very big thanks to you for coming to me. And uh, we've been t attempting to speak to the AMA boss. We've not been successful at the moment. But you do know right now from the other side that they're hoping to go to court if they don't get to solve this matter amicably. Me, Yamo Odre, is uh, one of the general managers at the VVIP um, bus terminal. Thank you very much once again yes, for coming. Yes, we are, we, are, we are really grateful. Mm -hmm.